Okay, it's a 2014 Volvo XC60 T6 all-wheel drive. We're going to do rear brakes. We're going to learn as we go. I'm sure I've done them before, but anyway, uh, try to keep up with me here. If you don't know this already, they do not have wheel studs and nuts. They have wheel bolts. See, no wheel studs, wheel bolts, which makes them a pain in the neck to put back together. So, uh, so what is worse, be careful, because when you take that last wheel bolt out, the tire will literally fall off and hit you right on your boot, your shin, or whatever. You get hurt real easy, so hang on to the tire before you let that last bolt go. Here we are, we're going to do rear pads. It's an electric brake, direct electric emergency brake. Like somebody's been in here before. You got a zip tie on the top here holding the wire for the electric emergency brake. First thing we're going to do is get these two bolts right here off. That one and that one. I'll let you know what size they are. It looks like about 13 or 14. like it's a 13 somebody's been here ahead of me see how they got the wires it tied up there glad to get a wrench to get it yeah I'm just gonna keep spinning with me Thing just gonna keep rolling. If the whole pin's spinning with you, you can use some small vice grips. Go right in here and grab a hold of the pin and clamp it down and hold it so you can get the nut loose. Right there. I have uh, grinded down 17 millimeter wrench that fits most of them. Oh, they tricked me, didn't they? It's not 17, is it? 
whole thing's still turning in. Yep, like so. Acts like it is. Must be, huh? There you can see I clamped the vice grips on the pin so I can get this nut loose. The vice grips are going to keep the whole caliper pin from spinning with me. We're supposed to do it. Still skipping off. Really? You need to stay on there, buddy. Man, if I didn't know better, I'd say somebody put this in their crossroads. Was that some good Loctite on it? Sorry, I can't pause the video. If I do, my phone thinks I forgot about it and it cuts the video off in the middle of the filming. So, there's the top one. <laughs> This is really tight. If you got to slide the caliper off the rotor. You can see here, I got it loose. Just gotta work with it. You get it up off there, and there is your caliper. Now you gotta get the piston in before you make room for the new pads. We actually have a new tool for this that twists and pushes at the same time. Whether I'm going to use it or, hey, I know most of y'all ain't going to have this tool, so I think I'll do it the old school way.
think you can get a tool from Advance that actually twists and pushes the piston at the same time. We have one, but I know you probably don't, so you're going to need one of these. You're going to put it in there and push against the piston. Just snug it up there to start to push. There you see how I've got the tool set in there. I know the sun's probably bothering you, but you can see I got my pusher tool in there pushing against the piston. Now I'm gonna have to take some channel locks. I'm gonna turn the piston clockwise a little bit and then twist this and push it a little more and then turn the piston clockwise some more and then push some more and just keep going till I get the piston all the way back. Be sure to spray your piston, the rubber boot around it with some WD-40 or something. It helps you to not tear the boot. channel lock set just right here. Oh my gosh. Don't want to turn. Uh. See how I'm using the channel locks? Catch the end of the piston and turn it clockwise. You turn it about three times and then tighten your pusher up about three turns. Just keep alternating back and forth till you get the piston all the way in. Need a cameraman, don't I?
saddle. All right, I think that's as far back as I can get it. You see, I used the pusher. I turned the piston two or three turns, then I tightened the pusher two or three turns, then turned the piston clockwise two or three turns, and then this and that, back and forth, back and forth, so I got the piston in as far as I can get it. Hopefully it's enough. to your pads. What do they look like? Match them up. Looks like these are all the same. So it doesn't matter. They're all identical. Some little plates right here, they come new with the rotor, I mean with the brake pads. I don't change them unless they're in bad shape. If they're in good shape, leave them on there, use them, because they stay stuck in place. If you replace them, the new ones want to keep falling off as you're putting the pad on. So, you see I've pried the brake pad off already. And, uh... This will be your new pad. Getting them in there can be a trick sometimes. And occasionally I have to take the pad and put it on the grinder. Grind it down a little bit to get it to fit. It's got too much paint on it or something. There. That one went right in. You can see I got a new pad in the back and the old pad still on the front. Go in with a screwdriver, pry the old pad out. And we'll slide in a new one. Angle it a little bit like this. See how I'm angling going in? That'll help you a lot. There it is. There's front pads and back pads in place. Let's see if I got the piston pushed back far enough now. Oh, got something. Check and make sure both your pins are working. If one of them froze up, you can uh, heat it with a torch sometime and get them loose, or you may have to replace the caliper if they're froze up bad enough. See if I made it back far enough. I may have to go back some more. Not quite. I need more space. So I'm about to put the pusher on there again and turn my piston in some more. Remember, rotate clockwise. 
to push the piston in. I still don't have enough. Nope. Wow. Got a long way to go. Get him in. Well, I'm trying to get him where he wants to go. They want him way up in there. Might still not be enough. Still can't get it. One more. He wants more. By the time you get the piston pushed in, you won't have nothing to grab a hold of. Come on, man. Still ain't enough? Really? <laughs> oh, boy. They want it all the way back. All the way till you got nothing to grab a hold of. Brand new tool set might fit it, too. I've been using the pusher on it. I you mean can that, turn. I mean a new kit we got. Oh, yeah, I know. I know the only reason I didn't use that new kit. It might fit it. Was because I know whoever's watching this video ain't gonna have that kit. I'll use that new kit on the other side. All right, we're still pushing with the pusher and then rotating the piston with the channel locks clockwise, trying to get the piston in far enough. And it's a long ways to go and it's real stiff, so we got to work at it a little bit. Just when you think you got it back far enough, you realize you've still got more to go. Uh oh, I'm getting close. Not quite, I can't quite get it. One more time, I guess.
down where I ain't got nothing to get a hold of. Gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Sorry about the lap time here, fellas, but it is what it is. Again, you can see what I'm doing. I'm pushing with the pusher. I'm taking the channel locks and twisting the piston clockwise. Alternating back and forth between twisting and pushing. And this one wants to go all the way. You don't have room for the new pads unless you get it all the way back. You get back there, you won't have nothing but a nub of the piston to grab a hold of with the bus with the channel locks. Alright, there it is. It took about 10 tries of twisting and pushing, but I finally got the piston back far enough so I got room to put it on here and get over top of my brand new shoes, my brand new pads. From there, it's just a matter of putting your two bolts back in the top and the bottom. Be sure you don't cross thread them. The bottom went in all right, but on the top one, I'm having to clamp the pin to keep it from rotating while I tighten the bolt. The vice grips will keep the whole shaft from spinning. And the last part of it there, you'll probably have to use the wrench. Not quite room for the ratchet in there. There you go. 
New brake pads installed 2014 Volvo X60 T6. If you have problems with that piston going in, you can get a kit, a free rental kit from one of the parts stores that helps you push the piston in. You'll figure the kit out when you see it. When you put the wheels back on, what I do is I try to line up one of the holes straight at the top. That helps me line the wheel up and get the bolt in there straight without cross-threading it. Good luck. Watch for more of my videos. Jeff Hash, Grinder Auto.